An Associated Press investigation has found the Catholic Church has brought in billions of dollars in stimulus funding when as a religious organization, they're not supposed to qualify for this type of money. But apparently, according to this investigation, they lobbied the Trump administration for an exemption in regard to the small business loans aspect of the stimulus bill. So the Associated Press reports that the amount that the church collected was between 1.4 billion and 3.5 billion dollars. The Diocesan Fiscal Management Conference, an organization of Catholic financial officers, surveyed members and reported that about nine thousand Catholic entities receive loans. Now keep in mind that they are tax exempt. Religious organizations are tax exempt, meaning that they took taxpayer money that they've never contributed to as a religious organization. The Archdiocese, for instance, of New York received 15 loans, 15 loans worth at least $28 million just for its top executive offices. Its iconic St. Patrick's Cathedral on Fifth Avenue was approved for at least $1 million. A loan of at least $2 million went to the diocese covering Wheeling, Charleston, West Virginia, where a church investigation revealed last year that then Bishop Michael Bransfield embezzled funds and made sexual advances toward young priests. Oh, Really great that our you know hard earned taxpayer money is going to that kind of church when there are still people in this country who qualified for stimulus checks, for instance, and they still haven't received them, 12 million to be exact. Now, overall, nearly 500 loans approved to Catholic entities were in the amount exceeding $1 million. And it's the, the rule that they were able to get an exemption on is the one it's referred to as the affliction rule. And it has to do with the small business loans. You're not supposed to qualify for them if you have employees above 500. And the Catholic Church certainly does. And on top of that, they're not supposed to be funded by the government in any way because it's a religious organization. But there was an exemption in regard to that as well. So a couple of issues here. First is the exemption that they got. And how did they get it? They lobbied for it. Um, now, here are the comical numbers and shows you why uh, bribery in America is the best investment you could make. So the Catholic Church, it appears based on the AP's reporting, spent about $50,000 lobbying politicians. In return, it looks like they got $1.4 to $3.5 billion. Who would be enough of a sucker not to do that? It, so if somebody said to you, somehow muster up $50,000, that's a lot of money, right? I mean, how are you, uh, okay, all right, but I fine, and give it to a politician, just bribe him. And in return, he'll give you three and a half billion dollars. What everybody would do, that. of course, of course, and everybody is doing that. And so the Catholic Church looks at corporations that do it every day and they go, what are we suckers? Oh, well, let's bribe them and get, get our money, and they did. So. They needed the exemption to be, you know, to to basically break these rules so that they can get the money, even though they have way over 500 employees. They got the exception, and so, and now look, small business part of this loan is what's going now to nonprofits, and that's a really interesting decision the government made. But I think that it's, you know, it's certainly a justifiable decision. It's a debatable one, but a justifiable one. Now we reported earlier in the week some horrible nonprofits are getting it, like America's for Tax Reform that fights for lower taxes for billionaires, I and Rand Institute, and now religious organizations are getting it, and that's problematic because we're supposed to separate church and religion, public money, our money is not supposed to go to religions that we don't necessarily believe in. And by the way, if you're a Christian or a Catholic, going, yeah, so what, man? I love that the Catholic Church got the money. I love it. Remember, theoretically. Moss can get it too. So, you know, you don't like uh, Sharia law and Muslims. Ah, so is the government giving money to Muslims? Are you happy with that? You want billions of dollars to go to uh, Muslim groups? We should be fair, obviously. I know that there's a lot of right wing Christians in this country who don't think we should be fair. And if they found out a dollar of their money went to a mosque, their heads are going to blow up. And so, so that's the situation here. And, and whatever we do, 
we should apply evenly to all these people. And it's not to say, look, the Catholic Church and the AP focuses on this almost too much, has had these horrible crimes that we've talked about endlessly and and no, I don't want any of my tax payer money going to it. At the same time, they also help the poor, the needy, etc. Let's be fair across the board about it. But does that doesn't mean that taxpayer dollars should go to religious institutions. Right, I think the AP chose to focus on the you know, predatory behavior that happened in a lot of these churches, Catholic churches, because a lot of them have massive legal settlements to deal with. So they didn't overtly report it this way, but the sense that I got by reading the full report was that it could be that these churches were cash strapped as a result of those lawsuits, as a result of that money that they owed. And some of this stimulus money could be helping them get out of that hole. And I think that's a legitimate thing to be concerned about, especially when you look at when the majority of these loans were approved. They were approved in the first two weeks of the stimulus. And as you can remember, Jenk, in the first two weeks of the stimulus, the money for the small business loans had already run out. So you kind of see that they were in front of the line when it came to getting approved for billions of dollars. In the meantime, actual small businesses were struggling to get approved, were struggling to get through the system. and you know, it's just these are people who have done their due diligence, they've paid their taxes. And it is really frustrating to see how, again, especially in the middle of a pandemic, people who do the lobbying, people who do the legalized bribery always get to jump ahead of the line. They always get what they want, they always get a massive return on their investment. Also, Trump said in a meeting with Catholic leaders, I want you guys to vote for me, so I'm gonna get you money. You know, remember what they always said about Obama and Democrats? Oh, they just want to do handouts so that people will vote for them. Trump just says it. He's like, "Yeah, I'll get you money if you vote for me." He 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 doesn't know that he's not supposed to say the quiet parts out loud. And finally, a big business got five hundred million dollars, and unlike the churches, unlike the nonprofit groups, and unlike the small businesses, there is no scrutiny for the money they got, and they got the most amount of money that. Congress kept that secret because big businesses are the ones that bribe them the most. So they wanted to be able to funnel the most amount of money to the people who needed it the least because they take the most amount of bribes from them. So that's how this sick government works. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, I really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR, so those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.